We continue with more of our tribute to Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, this is Jim Florentine, and um, I remember the first time I met Patrice. I've heard stories about him and stuff. I guess he just moved from Boston to New York, and um, I was doing a, a comedy show at the Comedy Cellar, and I guess he was going on after me. He was waiting in that little hallway, and I finished my set, and I walked out there, and I just saw him shaking his head, and I was like, I wonder what that's all about. And then he just said, you drove from Jersey for that set? I'm sorry. And he took out $20 out of his pocket. He goes, dude, let me at least give you toll money for that. That was fucking awful. And I was just like, fuck you, dude. And he's like, that was awful. That's horrendous. And he's, I'm just walking out. He starts laughing. Come on back here. I'm like, no, I don't give a shit. And he's like, no, come on. He followed me out. And he's like, dude, I was just fucking around. He goes, it was awful, but we'll talk about that later. So um, that was my first time meeting him. And at first, I really thought he was a piece of shit. But I really learned to, lo to love the guy a lot. And he was just a... He was just a great dude, man. He really, you know, taught me a lot about comedy. I remember doing, like, some shitty one-nighter with him a few months after that, and I was totally catering to the audience, you know, just, just to get laughs. And afterwards, in the car on the ride home, he just gave me a beating. Like, why did you do that? For what? Don't ever fucking cater to those people. Who gives a shit? They're dumb. Don't ever adjust your act to the crowd. And I always remember that, man. It definitely made me a better comic. So I'm going to miss him, man. He was, a, he was a really sweet guy. That's it. Remembering Patrice O'Neill, his greatest moments on ONA. You love what you feel. Look at Danny, man. This, Danny uses this show because he'd probably be on ONA like, uh, you know. You guys should add a little funk to the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's like, shut the fuck up, Danny, before you're fired and shit. Yeah, Aaron Smith and shut up. <laughs> Put on Def Leppard and Shadow or whatever dumb alternative band is out there. Dude, no, because it's funny. I, you know, before the show, I'm like, oh, let me let me try and find some new music for Patrice's show, and I'm I'm going through the uh, the soul folder for XM, and I'm I'm sitting there going, yeah, you know, I could I could put this on a CD, definitely take it home. Did you play Shaka Khan for old Shaka Khan titties? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank your pardon. Oh, she nice. called whole Shaka Khan titty. <laughs> Carolyn's like, I thought you were nice. I, I told know. you. Didn't I warn you? Yes, you did. Do we need a theme song again? <sighs> she just said that. I have it. I think we'll put a theme a song back on. Okay, here it is. Put her theme song. <laughs> put a theme song back on. No, it don't work. See, because yeah. they all fucking with me. No, no, no. That's not a theme song anymore. That's a theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me in the ass, big dummy! <laughs> <laughs> Karen's theme song, and you're not gonna get back Love Me in a Special Way it is so until, of who I you, am. until you earn it. That you are so on, on punishment with. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Florida, I'm yard. coming to join you! Hey! Open my pussy, bang twice on my pants, and kick my leg and my pussy. <laughs> you are so oh foul. You, you don't so get foul. love me in a special way no more. Sam with his son. <laughs> and we'll change that shit to the Jeffersons. We'll change it to good times, <laughs> motherfucker. That is so not me. Anyway. Whoa, 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 Keep whoa. acting up. You get Sam with his son. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back to the phones, man. <laughs> um Oh, cousin Joe! In New York City. Joe. Joe? Yo. Joe, what's up, man? Cousin Joe, what's up, man? What up, man? You're on the air, sir. How you doing? I don't know if you remember, but uh, thanks a lot for rec uh, recording the uh, show ID for the Cousin Joe show on Consumer Radio. Oh, yeah, you guys. What's happening, man? What's going on? Anything? All right, man. Well, like, uh, my first day on Cringe Humor Radio, I've been doing a radio show online for, like, uh, I'd say a year and a half now. Okay. My big, my big break was uh, to be on Cringe Humor. Mm -hmm. that, that night, my girlfriend came down knowing what a big night it was. Mm -hmm. to, gi to give me a ring back, I, brought, I <gasps> bought her for Christmas mm -hmm. and breaking up with me, right? Yeah. So, of course, I, I went on the air calling her a cunt or, or, you know, okay. this and that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, uh, this past week, she wants to get back together with me. Okay. She slept over last night. Mm-hmm. And I'm, mm. I'm, just, I'm just not feeling it. Okay. I need, to know, I need to know how to break it off without, you know, her getting extremely upset. I can't fucking Did, was you Was you extremely upset, upset when she broke up with you? 
No, because at that time, I was actually looking for ways to break up with her. Uh, <laughs> so, so basically, I'm going to tell you, dude, basically, for real, for real, y'all are, y'all are just um, in, an, in an abusive relationship. Yeah. And, and you both like it, though. So there's really nothing you know, to say about that. You're both abusive. You're both... You both just have this. Um, I don't even know if if I call it low self esteem. Then, Sadism. Thing. but yeah, it's uh, no masochism. 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 It's masochism. Y'all both are into it. You, do you guys have freaky sex? Uh, no, well, freaky sex. Like <laughs> when she slept over, she had she was on the rag, and I, you know, she thought it would. Uh, you fucked her on a period. She wanted to fuck on a period. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with that? Like, that? I, what's wrong with I, that? I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll run, run a red light, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. I will run a like, red you light. You want to fuck a guy in a period? My girl is not. not. I'm not going near that fucking oh. disaster yeah. area, nigga. I like what's a little chunky salsa. Oh, I'm not hey, fucking okay, no. Okay, that was wrong. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not fucking no murder scene, but go ahead, man. I keep a red here's towel. The, here's the thing. She told me it was like five, six days after she got it. I figured it was okay. And I fucked her this morning after she slept over it. And, uh, you know, my dick slipped out like it happened, you know, <laughs> and it, it just <laughs> drenched in blood. Okay. And I want to fucking puke. But I, I want to puke now, nigga. <laughs> 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 but, so what's your, wait a minute, Joe, wait a second. So your whole thing up? is, should you get back with her? Carrie right. Dick. <laughs> um, I would say, I would say yes. How old are you, man? Uh, I'm 23. I would say yes again. Um, because you, I would say yes, only because this is not harmful to you. You need, see, wisdom is one of those things, like, if you ever had a kid, and you try to tell them something, and they just gotta learn the hard way, Mm. we all Mm. do. Um, I am a miserable middle-aged man, as they call it. Well, I'm black, I'm young, but... You old for I'm old, nigga. <laughs> I'm really old for a black guy. So, I'm a middle-aged man, because I'm a black guy, at, at 37. I lived through this. 14 years ago, I wouldn't have any advice for you because I'm running around f- trying to figure shit out. This this right. uh, this is all based on living life. This is why you can't lose. This is not this is a philosophy. This is a this is field research. This is this is shit that I live. So I know it's not fake. So I'm saying to you, dude, go out there and damage yourself some more so that you can start to to have an no. actual like understanding Character. and have a have a personal inner reference to the to the pain or that, save yourself because you can't just hate and have no basis for it. You know what? Well, they have well, they have racists and sexists. It's like you know what? If you want to hate a motherfucker that's not like you because you had bad experiences with him, I don't give a fuck. Just don't hate him for dumb shit. You can't hate you got you don't even hate bitches yet. You don't hate her. I can't stand them. They make me sick. Don't turn into Kareth him. Kareth bugs me looking at her. Don't I want her titties him. out. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look at the bit. I'm not. I want her to be naked. I'm gonna try to get paid. I'm gonna try to pay Kareth <laughs> to come do the show. And <laughs> part of her show description is have her titties out. But you don't. You're not there Kareth yet. Do not turn into him. So, so Joe, let her go. I'm, I'm letting him go. Hang up on him, Danny. Thanks, Joe. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. And you, he just has to learn that like f- young people can take. This advice, if they want to, but if you that haven't really lived funny. any pain, if you haven't like said what the fuck, man, if you're not tired, this is a show for motherfuckers who are tired of not being happy and not understanding the 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 thing that's calling in their gut, like their gut. They don't understand something sitting there, and you're like, I hate this bitch. I don't know what. I don't know why. What the fuck? But like you don't get it. Joe might have a chance to avoid that pain. There's no way no to way. have to fall well, a couple no, of times. I, have you avoided it? Well, no. Because do it's, you know like, anybody that's life. avoided it? It's part of life. But what I'm saying is, okay, at least Kareth, in this situation. Let me tell you something about. Let me tell you something too, Kareth. You don't have a statement that completely disagrees with me, and then when I say something that makes sense, <laughs> you fucking then agree with me, blow it off like you made it up yourself, and then go to another subject. Do you see what <laughs> she just did? Why are you throwing stuff? Why are you throwing did stuff? Did you see what she just did? Why are you throwing she stuff? She went, Diversion. This, this bitch just used the Jedi mind trick. She goes, <laughs> she goes, one plus one equals two. I said, no, equals three. Yes, it does, but see, four is not an even number. What? <laughs> Bitch, you don't think I'm a master at this shit? <laughs> See, fuck, this is what I'm saying. But this is the shit. things. If, if I was in love with Karis, <laughs> this is the you shit drop, drive you that, crazy. That, I w- that these guys out here are fucking dealing with because they, <clears throat> they love her. So if you love a bitch, mm-hmm. you got to hear her horse shit 
and let her keep going. My girl just wants to tell stories now and have me not interrupt. <laughs> just fucking tell stories. And then I, I, I was watching. I was I getting my truck fixed. I'm going to the place, and I'm fucking looking at all my children. My girl does these soaps, right? <laughs> so I call. She, she does, she'll do um, like extra work on soaps and time. Or, or she even had a, a like actual part on one, yeah. talking. So I call her, I go, these fucking soaps stink, because that's what was playing in the waiting room. Right. She goes, yeah, but you know why they stink? <laughs> because, see, soaps, you know where soaps, the acting technique came from? She so wants to <laughs> tell me something. To, it's like from Broadway. It's a Broadway thing. She wants to blah, share. Blah, 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 blah. She wants to and share. And I'm like, I don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. <laughs> but to her credit, she knows now. She innately has put me as an option to say, wait a minute. This story fucking, fucking stinks. stinks. She's self-governing now. So That's so sad. Trying. That is so sad. That is so sad. No, it's not. Yes, it is, because she's trying to share a part of herself and her life with you. How, how, that's how we how, communicate. How, how we often, talk. how often a guy would a guy edit guys edit themselves with women all the time? Well, yeah, this probably because like, well, this he, a guy fat, might say breast is, instead look, of like titty. No, but if they, well, it's still self editing. It's the same thing. If you, if a chick says she's she, how do I look in this? Am I fat in this? He goes, oh, you know, yeah. Uh, but it's about uh, communicating. He go, time. yeah, you look fat, and then it's over with. It's about communicating, and we just want to share with you because that's what we do. We are communicators. <sighs> We talk. You're we just not talk communicators. You know what you are? You're no. fucking talkers. Communicators Easy. actually put something in my head with the with. See, Some men value. Men are actually trying that's to valuable give to you. us, though. You're just you're just. Did you hear what you said? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's the point. Repeat yourself. That is the point. It's valuable to who? Us. There you go. Now we're gonna take another call. Can't <laughs> <laughs> yet. You gotta wait for Danny. Oh, we're stupid, Danny. <laughs> I'm saying, Danny, I'm come back in here. <laughs> he's picking Danny. out. He's picking oh. out his afro. <laughs> 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 who's that? Who's that fucking guy? <laughs> go to Steve, man. Steve, uh, number seven. Steve, what's up? What's this hey, Mr. P, what's going on? Oh, Mr. Fucking P. God damn it. What's <laughs> up, man? Um, hey, listen up. I was gonna ask you. Steve? Did he hang up? I think he was trying to get you. It just that was, didn't, that didn't was work very well. He held yeah. on for an hour and 40 <laughs> minutes for that? Dickhead. <laughs> I, I, I hope his cell phone battery is right in time. He did he? That sounds battery. like a Jim Norton. He held on that long for that. Couldn't. No Couldn't. fucking way oh, did he hold on that Steve. long to do that. <laughs> No, it was probably an accident. To get me? Loser. Are you fucking I kidding me? That's the sound of it. What a fucking soldier! I wouldn't be surprised, though. <laughs> what a... F he's an animal. Crowd. I want him working for me, nigga. <laughs> this nigga held on from 9 p.m.? Yeah. What time is it? Just it's to do the gym. It's cell phone battery. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's almost 11. 11. That's a Two crazy hours. nigga there. I would not want him stalking me. <laughs> um, what's the name? What's the other? We want the people that hung on the longest. So I don't even know. Uh, let's see. 19? 19. Yeah. Now, 19? This guy's been on. Jermaine in Pennsylvania. Jermaine, okay. Jermaine, yeah. what's up, man? Hey, man. What's up? How are you, sir? Not bad. Not bad. All I right. got a situation for you guys. All right. Um, me and my girlfriend have been going out for about a year and a half. Fair uh, enough. I'm 19. She's 20. Okay. Sounds um, good. We both still live at home with our families, so I drive to see her a lot. That's good. Uh, Does she have a but, basement, or you have a basement, or somewhere y'all can fuck? Are y'all doing it in the car? Uh, mainly, you know, when when no one's home or at night, late at night. Yeah, I miss really. those days. Yeah. You know, I had to stick some pussy. <laughs> but what's good about it, though, the bitch got to leave. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't have to problem. snuggle with it. Get out, ho. That's a good yeah. thing when you live with your parents, but go ahead. My <laughs> bitch don't go nowhere. <laughs> Shit. I got to hide in the closet from this. So go ahead. <laughs> well, the, only, the only problem is... Um, she lives with her stepbrother now, who used to be her boyfriend. Ah, wait a minute, Whoa. that's not even a big deal yet. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> yes, no, said it. She lives with her stepbrother, who's her ex -boyfriend. who used to be a boyfriend, which means well, that it, no. his mother married her father. Right. She, right. He it didn't say on. anything yet. No, no, no. Yeah. Hold on, it's, it could be just a fucking Brady Bunch thing. He's up. She dated no, him, though. No, she... Hey. So what? That, that has nothing to do with who? All right, Steve, go ahead. Did you Jermaine. see? Do you hear how he's trying... Wait, time out. Time out. I'm sorry, Josh. Uh, Jermaine? Is it Jermaine? <laughs> Jermaine. Yeah. Jermaine, do you see how guys... This is what guys have to deal with. If if you don't aren't with a woman that's trained to have you say, shut the fuck up, <laughs> they'll keep going... Bleh, 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 bleh. Or if you don't have a mic that you can shut off like right now... <laughs> They go blink, 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 blink. 
And you're like, wait, wait a minute, hold on. So I end up being fucking annoying to Jermaine and not listening because Carol is going, oh my goodness gracious. Well, yeah, he didn't say anything point. yet. Exactly. We're going to let you explain, Jermaine. But do you see how you got to get in to tell a yeah. bitch once her emotions take over and she has a movie that's starring her and directed by her and co-starring her and yeah. that movie just goes, and action. Oh my God, he's sucking his, his stepbrother's dick. Oh God. He didn't say shit yet, motherfucker. All right, keep her mic still off, though. Go ahead. She's still on no, right. for five seconds. They were dating, then their parents got married, and, and now they live together. Live together with the parents? Yeah, they all, all with the parents. It's the a Brady family. Bunch situation right now, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, You're go right, ahead. Right. Keep going. Uh, you know, she's very nice, sweet, smart, sexy girl. Um, she's really, she's still really good friends with her stepbrother, though, and I, I can't really uh, handle this. I'm going to tell, tell you why you shouldn't worry about it. What part of Pennsylvania you live in? Um, Eastern, uh, southeastern. Is it is it religious that area? No, no, no. Is it a religious area? Like, uh, is it like Pittsburgh or some goofy shit like that? Or no? I don't. Uh, I'm no, not no. familiar with Pennsylvania. All more, I'm saying more like is like Allentown, Allentown, Bethlehem area. Yeah. Oh, oh, so okay. I'll tell you what you hope and you cross your fingers for. You cross your fingers, and this is the only thing. Unless he's, unless first of all, your confidence, your confidence. And not giving a fuck will help. But what I always do, I always tease like I would. I would tease my girl and and act like I wanted to actually see her fuck the guy. And you have, know what? I was actually thinking about that. Too. Yeah. And then what happens is she goes, She's "Oh my repulsed. god, yes, I can't." Yeah, well, really, y'all not related. You know, we can do a little Brady Bunch thing. Do a little. Let's do a little Brady. <laughs> you may not mean it, but but mean it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it is. She's not related to him, but you hope that the idea of the the the, Im, the amoralness of it well, keeps her from fucking her new brother. That that if you can keep, if she thinks that you're a hunk of shit, and now you put the idea of her fucking her brother in her own head, then she won't fuck him. Or that's planting mm. seeds. That's planting seeds. Well, that's what you gotta do, bitch. Yeah, but <laughs> but that's gr ugh. is that that's gross and it's what? But that's that's what you do. That's what you do. You Jermaine, plant. Is he hot? You plant. Is the brother hot? Uh, he's not bad looking. I it guess. doesn't I matter. Know. Yes, it does. J it doesn't fucking it does. No, Jermaine, it doesn't matter. Here's what Jermaine. Are you a white guy? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a white guy. How that happened? <laughs> yeah. right, I just noticed. What's up, nigga? My, um, my... <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, baby? Jermaine from Pennsylvania. <laughs> hey, Jermaine, listen to me, dude. Trust me. You you just tease her a little. You you it's it's a it's some it's insecurity, but you you joke about it and you're very comfortable. After you joke about it a couple of times, you don't talk about it no more. You can't care. All right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, don't do don't it. bring yeah, yeah. it up. Don't flip out. Don't fucking what the fuck. Right, just right. just try to make make her go make her think that she's a hunk of shit for thinking about fucking <laughs> her, her brother. It's like well, we, Jesus, it's your brother. Doesn't the well, kids come the out thing, retarded? <laughs> 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 it's not her brother. It's not her brother. But you you put that in there like it is her brother, like it's somebody she has to look at like family now. And yeah. then you step back and you don't fuck with her about it. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I see you later, dude. All Thanks right, for thank calling, you. man. Um, uh, shit, these fucking phone things. I can't get used to this sh phone shit. What's the what's good? Nate, Nate's been on for a while. Has he been on? We yeah. got a bunch of the guys that's been on, dude. Let's go to hey, Nate. Cleveland, Nate. Nate, what's up, buddy? Yo, what's going on? How are you, man? All right. Hey, I got a good one for you. Go um, I, I'll give you the quick and dirty on it. Okay. Um, this chick and I, we were dating like way back in the day. We split up. Loved her to death, but there was issues. <clears throat> But then last night I ran into her again, and I'm Wait, like, Wait, what was it? What was the issues, real, real quick? Um, <clears throat> her, her and I both want to control the relationship. Mm. All right, fair enough. That's that's an issue that's always uh, <laughs> around, though. You know, that's 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 something. Like I said, that's not her fault. You understand? No. That's what they do. So you know, that's that shouldn't be an issue in your life ever again. You know what? Right? You know that? No. Yeah. No. We, okay. We went. We went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. forth. Okay. That. Yeah, that and, how old are you, by the way? 25. 25. Okay, you're getting there. So you was yeah. just in that in that abusive kind of uh, masochistic shit that we all into. When we're younger, yeah. we just, that yeah. fighting, you think this is stuff we have yeah. to go through as a relationship. But you, as you get older, you don't need to go through that shit. But go when ahead. It, Sorry, man. Go ahead. When, it, when it's easy, it's not worth it. Right. But none, nonetheless. Pain is suffering. Um, you're right. Yeah. 
and then I ran into her last night. Mm-hmm. And now, when when this girl and I split up, ever since that point, I'm kind of like the way you think. So I'm just like, you know, I'll be with somebody for like a week, and I'm like, you know what, I'm tired of you, get out. And okay. it's just, that's kind of the way that I've been. Okay. And it's because of her. <clears throat> and I ran into her okay. last night, and I'm like, holy shit, you know, here's this chick that I was crazy about, and we just kind of... Like hit it off immediately. Old like, feelings right, and shit. Cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. She she did. She was she was it. She she tapped into something. You know that's fair. You get you find a girl that's taps into something. They they do that. You know they do. You know that's why sometimes you see a really you know couples where one person shouldn't be with the other in terms of the looks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's because she taps yeah. into something. So okay, that's fair. Yeah. So and she was like, you know, I'm sorry. I was stupid. You were right, you know, and just kind of like caved everything and said, you know, I regret it like crazy. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. The rebound guy from me knocked her up. Now she has two kids. <gasps> oh, but, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You might not be able to make her your main, but at least you know one thing. She's fucking. You splash um, off. <laughs> you can splash and off every once in a while. Here's the thing, too. You can. Here's what you do, dude. You're 25. You really like this girl. You learn about your future relationships that you're going to have when you get older. You you take this as experimental. And here's why you can do that. Here's the experimental relationship factor. You can always, when she decides she's trying to be your girlfriend, you always can hold the, <laughs> the kids, kids <laughs> over her head. And that's healthy. That's very healthy. He's not healthy in a healthy relationship with her anyway. So what you do is when she starts she's going, the the why you do this? Why you say that? Well, I, you, you when she starts kids. giving you trouble, you fucking hold her kids. You don't think I've done that's it? Like and stop my, I know you have. Let me tell you, I told you, my girl said, why you got your ex-girl? Friend's boots in the closet. I said, "Why the fuck do you, uh, you? You got a kid that ain't mine, bitch. You you complaining about my my girlfriend's boots? I don't feed the boots. I don't talk to the boots. I don't help the boots with math. I don't do any of that shit. How dare you open your fucking mouth? That's what you got to do. It, you, you know what the kids help you do? They help you to give her options." They help you to understand, baby, you just do not frivolously say anything to me because you're coming back to me after you f- fucked the guy, no condom, squirted in you, gave birth. <laughs> now you back with some product of some other guy's balls. So oh, my so God. Did you make that any grosser? In my face? You understand what I'm saying? She didn't go look yeah. at so her. So this is what you do. Each other. Listen, it sounds like you're not over her. She went out and did the things. Don't ever make it the kid's fault, though, because they didn't do anything. The mom is a hoe. You know what I'm saying? She did her well, thing. The, the, the whole thing behind it is, is I was a relationship guy before I met her. I was like, you know, I want just like long-term committed. You know, I was a pussy. That, that's, that's exactly what I was. That's not And when she, when she hurt me, I took that, and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck all the bitches. I'm just going to be whoever I'm going to be. If they don't like it, they can leave. And now she came back, and I'm like, oh, shit. This is what made me this way. What the fuck? Well, you love look, her. dude, let me tell you something. You love her, and it's a good thing she came back with some furniture. Yeah, right? she, and she came back with a. She came back with a whole house. <laughs> she came back with a funky couch. And a, and a chair you don't like. An ottoman. And and you have you right now you have a nicer house, but she you let her bring her little chair and ottoman in right. Mm-hmm. And now all you got to do you sit on it you you talk to it. But that is a good way for you to now learn how to be in a relationship. Yes. When she gets crazy, it, those kids are an option. You don't threaten to leave because of the kids. No. You just go, sweetie, you're complaining about what. I am looking at another guy's humping. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? When you're fucking her and she's acting funny, I don't like it. Then you go, really, really? At least I'm wearing a condom. <laughs> Mister, shoot up in your pussy. Got to shoot up in there, oh Disney. God. <laughs> You got to do it, dude. I'm telling you. You got to do it. Don't be a complete dick, but just use it as leverage to introduce options. All right? All right. All right, see you Take later. Take care. All right. Um, Mr. Uh, Victor from Florida. God damn it. I am sorry, Victor. Are you there? I'm here, man. Go ahead, man. 
Oh, okay, cool. Um, first of all, I love fucking period pussy. I don't know. I don't know what your problem Dude, is. I, maybe I'm a fag. I I don't know. It's me just, too. It's just waste. It's nice and warm. I used to think it was <laughs> waste, just man. blood. It's it's old eggs it's coming nature, down. Man. It makes me sick. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's nature's lubrication. Man. It's like fucking uh. Caviar. <laughs> it's, it's, like fucking a, it's, it's like fucking a cup of caviar. <laughs> I don't need it in my life. I don't need it. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> caviar <laughs> oh, man. Am I the only pussy ass motherfucker yes, don't fuck on your period? You are. Danny, you, Danny, you fuck on your period on the period? Uh, I usually, I try to avoid it, but if it happens, if it happens if I don't, I'll, I'll, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh! I don't want my girl near me with a bloody pussy, man. I don't. It it gives me. You a got a, you got a creepy Steve. thing about panty shields too, though. And nigga, I don't like. <laughs> Did I, he really? If, if I see panty shields and a bitch, just just to protect from discharge, I, I almost pass the fuck out. <laughs> Some old sticky pussy juice coming. In. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I look. At, I can't track because I guess a lot of. I'm, look, I'm out, man. I will, use, I will out. use a, a panty shield as a napkin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck dab me, off. nigga. Taking a dab off the mouth, of course. Oh, when I when I when I hear that fucking Velcro sound of a panty shield coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all you motherfuckers with this shit. <laughs> That's some gross, gross <laughs> shit to me, dude. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I think know, that is hilarious. I know I'm a piece of shit. You are the, you, yeah. uh, you are the only one I feel as equally as freaky as I am. Uh, and you you talk about a, a, a panty shit. Because you know, nigga, I will. Like, man. I will eat a bitch's asshole after she finished wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> But fucking period pussy, I cannot fuck you, period fucker. Fuck. Uh, oh, all the time, man. All right, dude. All right, go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Once, 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 once. Yeah, well, all right. First of all, I, I kind of relate to that last caller because I feel that I'm definitely a pussy. Um, I've given my girl way too much power in the relationship. My problem is basically jealousy, man. You ever get jealous? You know what I do, but it's a, it's something you have to fight. It's like when I first I did my because I I wanted to swing. I just needed some side pussy, and for me to want to to do that, I had to be willing to deal with to deal with her wanting to fuck another guy. I can't. I, I don't want to be a hypocrite mm -hmm. for her because if she's giving to me, I got to give to her. So I did watch um, some other guy fuck her, and I did what? watch some other guy. She f blow to, blew another guy. And what I found is that under the context of swinging didn't bother me. I think right. w what what your what fucks you up is the intimacy of the, the unknown learning someone else, mm -hmm. and that some guy fucking fell in there, mm -hmm. um, and like it was an open window, and sh and it's well, just the unknown of it. So I do get jealous, but I get I get as jealous as I pos as as I can because I'm. I've been in a business so long that rejection is such a part of my daily mm -hmm. lifestyle and disappointment mm -hmm. that, I, put it this way, how you deal with jealousy, I always say this, is you love a bitch 80%. Like if there's 100% of a pie, you build up to 80, but you got to save 20% for th two things. 10% to be able to fuck her correctly, to have the right resentment, to be able to <laughs> fuck her like an animal. And the other 10% is to be able to move on and have some energy. Because if I give a bitch 100%, then what do I You're have depleted. for me? I have nothing for me. So say I'm giving, I'm giving my bitch 150%. That's the fucking That's problem. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to right. slow down um, what you give her. And you got to now take stuff and get, make it for you. You have to go down. You can't. It, the most you can do. Is ninety percent. You need ten percent yeah, just in I'm case this bitch is phony, or just in case. And the same thing goes for women. Absolutely, you have to give. You can't love a motherfucker a hundred percent. That's what you 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 believe it. Look, human beings, man, we're prone to mistakes. You can't human. Human nature is prone to those fucking mistakes, man, because we're animals, dude. Sometimes we act on that animal thing, right. and you get this fucked up thing. Like, my girl, I know my girl used to fuck a lot of people, you know, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, I fucked a lot of people. I like a bitch. As a matter of fact, if a bitch come to me and tell me she ain't sucked 18 dicks in her life, <laughs> she, she might as well not fuck no, with me. No, man, you're fucking crazy, bro. That you're means crazy, I man. need I that. Know. I don't Thank you. Thank a bitch. You. I like teaching a bitch. That's that's the best, man. This is what. But see, here's that's the difference. Your hey, here's the difference between me and you, Ego. Victor. You, me, I am a ninth Dan. <laughs> 
professional. Oh. When you come into my karate class, I can't teach motherfucking white belts. I only can teach black belts. I teach black belts. So when I when a bitch come to me thinking that she sucked your dick right, I go, hmm, very good, very good. But, but you must, <laughs> the you must can, you, can you do it with my thumb pressed against your larynx? <laughs> no, you cannot. And then, she, <laughs> then I pull a yeah. bitch's eye out like Kill Bill. <laughs> Sick, I like hoes myself. I mean. So here's the thing, Victor. With your thoughts, here's what's going to happen. You can only take her, and listen, think about this. You can only take her, but but so high. Then she's going to look to explore and find pieces of shit like me. And you don't want her to find pieces of shit like me or Dante no, no. or fucking well. Drew Boogie. You have to learn. You know what you do, dude? I'm going to tell you what you do. Because mm. you, you, you won't be as hurt as you think. Go to a swing okay. club. Go to a swing club. Mm -hmm. You switch with a couple. Sit there, have another guy's girl in your clutches, and watch your girl fuck another dude. Uh -huh. Wait, but I don't have a problem with the swing thing. That that I don't have a problem. But you with. have to I learn, actually... though. You have to learn how to deal with the pain and the ego. The ego right. is what you have to get out of your system because you you know what you, what, what it is. You're not. It's a possession. It's almost like a motherfucker that has a lot of watches, and he, he just only and one. he only wears one. Like and you keep them and, all. and people and your boy comes and you go, damn dude, let me get that other watch. Like, it's You're my like, watch. man, fucking get out of here. It's my watch. Sometimes we treat our bitches like they just another watch that we have in a drawer, and you start to lose that attachment, and you start to get this fucked up ego when they start thinking how you do. You know what I mean? Because that's what they do. They copy you. You understand? Women don't have their own thoughts. Oh my God! Are you trying to make my head explode? <laughs> Listen to me, I'm Victor. Serious. Victor, yeah. you have to learn. You have. Here's what you do, dude. Okay, you should think in your mind. <laughs> that was for you. Never that jealousy thing, because this kid sounds like he's one of those fighters and shit that yeah. fucking gets steamed up. And here's what you yeah. do. I let oh, me yeah. tell you something, man. Dante <laughs> wants to give my girl a fat one. <laughs> we boys. But my girl got a nice booty, and Dante gives me respect. Every time my girl, my Dante hugs my girl and goes, "Hey, baby, how you doing? Hi, Vaughn. And I can feel it. But he doesn't want to. You gotta move. He's for, he's fighting what he is, but he respects me as a man. For real? But he he'd want to fuck my girl. Why should I be upset with that? She's His fucking. wife is, you know. I gotta close, you know, you close your eyes. You put you gotta, the, <laughs> You know, you go, hi, sweetie. How you doing, baby? And you look down because you don't want to go, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Because you respect him, but right. he should want me to want to fuck his He's wife. Smoking. You have to want other guys to fuck your girl. Yeah. You understand what right. I'm saying? You know, what do you want a girl? Do you want a girl who guys don't want to fuck? No, of course not. No, but I want a girl who doesn't want to fuck other guys. Oh, no, you, you don't, don't have a brain. That, that's what yeah. it is, dude. Yeah. You got to... You think you got a you body. Don't possess, you can't possess her <laughs> body unless you possess her mind. You can't possess anybody. This is not slavery. That's bullshit. You, well, see, possessing it's a mind... Slavery? Possessing a this mind... Isn't slavery, wait a minute. Victor. Possessing a mind is free will. Possessing a body is control. If you can possess a mind, she's freely giving you her mind. That's not that's not your fault. I, okay. How many how many guys? Thanks, thanks for calling, Victor. How many, guy, you, man. How many no guys problem. are, are right, with buddy. some girl that that they hate and and is doing everything they're doing everything she wants them to do? They possess their mind. That's we sad, dudes. Though. It's not right. But you're trying to. Who, but that okay. happens all the time. I know it does. And Let me ask you a quick question, yes. Kareth. Right. How, how do you, please give me the principles yes. of having a fifty-fifty relationship? I don't think it's always fifty-fifty at the same time. There you go. Contradiction again. I really no, love Kareth. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but you both have to give. It just has to, and that's what makes it fifty-fifty. You alternate. Come on. How do you give? A, how do you give? Uh, how do you give a girl a fifty-fifty? Uh, how do you have a 50-50 relationship? You alternate. It t it's effort. Everybody has to put in some effort How for a relationship. How do you alternate? So what happens Even when one because gives... Because you know what? Somebody what? has a good day, somebody has a bad day. So you're day. saying a relationship so you is a like, a, it's like a seesaw. You give a little bit more. It's like a seesaw. Absolutely. No. It's yes, like tug, it is. It's like tug of war. No, it's not. <laughs> It's in like, your world, if it's a fight, yeah. If it's a fight, it is it's a fight. fight. You know why? It's just like you. And you do very classic things like, why are you yelling? 
Why are you throwing pins? It, that's what girls aggressive. do. You try to take, and this is the last bastion of madness, is our anger. Is our <laughs> physical imposingness. Just the passive aggressive. Uh, over women is the last thing mm. that they're trying to fucking take. Mm. Because they know, if they can figure out a way to take the fact that we can punch them through a wall, they ah, would take that from uh, us. And that would be the final, b the final frontier is to take testosterone. The, uh, the we like testosterone. The bear, the bear salmon. Oh, that's scenario. The, the, the scenario. Yeah. It's just like it's like working in a in a in a. In Please, a, it's like me. working in a uh, in a in a in a in a workplace mm -hmm. business right? office. A business office, right? Mm -hmm. And men working with women is is just like bear working with salmon dipped in honey. <laughs> And the salmon comes in and starts talking to the bear about all kind of stupid shit. Hello, bear. Hello, Jim the bear. And he's like, I just want to eat this bitch. But the fact is, oh, I want to eat this fish. Mm, fucking fish. And every day, I'm, I'm going against my entire nature, nature of, just like we're working together now, and I'm like, mm, pull your titties out. But that's... It's like because of the dynamic, you can go, you're a fucking asshole, but you don't work for me, so there's no power move, so get out. But <laughs> but at work, a guy wants to do, if you came to work with those titties, right, I can't. I'm not even wearing a seductive top. But I'm, just, I'm wearing a, a towel net. There you big go. lavender it's all, titties. It's all about you, right? If I fucking if you come to work with those tits right, yes, and and I and and you're a sa you you're a salmon dipped in honey right now. Okay, so I'm sitting there like fuck, and you're telling me shit, and you're t you're not asking me shit, you're not get you're telling me shit. You're like, hey, this is what I like, this is what I'm gonna do, this is blah 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 and blah, and then one day I go, you know. That honey looks good. <laughs> and you go, oh my god, god. <laughs> oh my god, you're harassing me. Oh, you're oh doing me. Rah, rah, rah. Oh my god, I'm gonna write you up and talk to the fucking supervisor. <laughs> oh. I can't stand it anymore. Rah. And it's an unfair thing that you're doing Keep to your us. Keep your bear claws off my fins. Keep your fucking honey out of my face, bitch. Work in the basement. <laughs> I don't think women and men should work together. I agree. They should have. Leave I my think scales they alone. don't. They should not work together because I don't get to say, "Hey, you got nice titties." That's my dynamic. Why do you it's, get to fucking a, it's not unleash? Oh, really? Yo, I say it at a fucking club and get slapped, but you wouldn't say that in the workplace. Why? Why? Because it's unprofessional. Did, I would did you hear how she I has? Would, no, I would you hear how women have nice no jackets. reasoning. That is Why? reason. Why are you calling that no reasoning? I just said unprofessional. That is unprofe a reason. No, that's not a reason. No, that's a Why social. Is that not a reason? What does that's that a mean? social what does answer. That mean? Uh, unprofessional like, means uncalled for, uncouth. It's not. How do I know? You. How do I know that? Hey, listen. That's are you a virgin? Wait, exactly. are you a virgin? No, I'm not. Do you give up pussy from time to time? Yes, I do. How the fuck am I supposed to know if at work, maybe I got a chance for you to give because, me some pussy? So How do I hours. fucking know? Wait till after hours if you want to touch the Are details. you out of your fucking mind? Because then that's even worse. What? Here's what guys got to do at work. Hey, I just was looking at you earlier. I've never worked I with thought, men. I thought that... So I don't know. I think that you should um come out for um a lovely lunch. We're, we're going to go to, you know, Sporty Deluxe and have a <laughs> hamburger and blah, blah, it's blah, blah. It's a mating ritual, which you have to follow. It, you ain't got to follow. Do you hear... Yeah. Do you, Cass, I'm so fucking happy you're here. This is the stupid shit that men hear all the time. Please stay you. Don't change, because this, this is how we get frustrated. They say shit that means nothing just to them. It's the dating all ritual. All the women who are listening understand. It's the dating ritual. It's the dating ritual. It's the dating ritual. You gotta ask me out on a date. <laughs> Pussy is important, but it ain't special. I tell you that much. Yes, it ain't it special. Is. It's yes, important it though. Wait, Patrice. Yeah. Uh, uh, the last guy that called uh, doesn't have the girl's brain, and we say this every show that, and uh, every time I look at Danny because we was talking to him about it when he was talking about his girl about guys that can't that that think that they can fuck their way to making their girl stay no, with them. We have to like you. We have to feel connected. Do you, do you remember what I'm talking about? Nice. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck it. All right. <laughs> Drew, Drew I'm, I, I know what you're talking about. Santino in Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Go ahead, Santino. Hello? Yes, sir, Santino. Please speak up, sir. I hope you're saying. Oh. I see you, Santino. Go ahead. Patrice, you are 100% right. And the girl, I'm sorry, I forget your name. Kareth. Kara. 
Whatever. You're proving Patrice 100% right, yeah. all right? He, he's asking you specific questions. You're being very vague in what you say. But I'm Even not. If it's something, no, listen for a second. Even if it's stupid, give him a solid answer. You know what I mean? Hey, why do I do this? You go, oh, well, be that. Just say, <laughs> even if it's stupid, say, it's because I'm a woman, I should do this. Because. You say, it's because I'm a man, that's why. You know, that's Jackie Mason. Yeah, we don't. We <laughs> men, men never say because I'm a. I, I say do this because we go. This is the reasoning behind I, what I'm saying. You, know what? you have no reasoning yes, to I why I can't say. Makes, can I look at your titty? It makes us feel weird when you say, "Hey, nice tits" at the office place. That's why it's inappropriate. Because when it, is it, there an appropriate time to say, "Hey, nice tits"? When you're at a bar and you want to get slapped, <laughs> and you, 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 think, you that? think that you could slap somebody oh, because Sant he said Santino, something that's offensive. Santino, thank you so no, much for calling. Santino, thank, 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 thank you, and you walk no, on. But that's not a way to get a number. That's not a way to get my phone number. Listen to him. God damn it, fucking Kev. Unbelievable. <laughs> God damn. The, the reason the reason why the answers are vague is because the minute you you make your point and you make a sound concrete point, then we can attack the we can attack your point with logic. As long as you keep it vague and you never take a position, then once we start backing I you into the corner, then sides. you float you start floating not, around well, and, and you change sides, your position. But I'm trying to get you to understand where women are coming from, too. You want a question, we but know. that answer is reasonable. You're coming the point from is vagueness. The point you is we do know. know. We do. We you just don't. don't accept it. We know exactly where you're coming from. Okay. It's bullshit, and we know it's bullshit. And we it's not up, bullshit to it, us. Of course it's not, because yeah. it's your point of view. <laughs> it's still bullshit. What's up, girls? Please call in. I need pussy power here with me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, ladies? Right. Do you see on, how goofy they are? And this, it only but works. Women understand what I'm saying. But the, wait, course, wait a minute, God, they don't know what the fuck exactly. they're talking about either. If you guys would it's, listen to me, they would understand where women are coming blind, from. I don't have the, the blind. We, we have always listened. I guys, am not blind. Guys can... always have listened to women. That's how we talk you into fucking us. We know where you're coming so from. Then what are you we bitching know... about? It shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that Says way. Says who? You? Because you want to fuck just as much as we want to fuck. every guy who this <laughs> fucking line <laughs> is that when they write in, shh, tell... She's an asshole. <laughs> she, what? Somebody said I'm an asshole? Two people said I'm an asshole? Are you fucking kidding me? Five, but we just won't take them. <laughs> we just wouldn't take the call. Five people said this chick is an ass. <laughs> you, you come in. Good. I'm glad cause, I got to Because she has this confidence <sighs> that's based on the fact that men let her fucking ramble on. Right. So she just comes out with this power. Power, like, you know, I'm going to say this. And then I go, you're wrong. Yeah, maybe, but I'm going to say the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, bitches. This is what I'm going to say, Kev. It's not personal to you. It's all fucking women. They're annoying. N annoying. Ah. All right. Um, and I didn't turn the mic off, by the way. That's good. Good girl. Now, when you pull out a titty, we'll have a such a great time. <laughs> Who can I call? <laughs> Hole busters, bitch, because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, uh, Big Daddy, man. Go to Big Daddy. Big Daddy, you there? Big Daddy? Virginia? Yeah, man. You there? Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah, uh, first thing... Uh, if women don't want to be talked to that way, then why do they wear scandalous clothes like that in an office place where people are working? That's a heavy word, too. That's a word that, that causes pain. When you say scandalous, you know what that means? It means, like, it's unfair. It's unfair for you to pretend like you're not trying to be sexy, <gasps> right? Boo, you're not boo, You're boo, not boo, inviting boo, boo, anything. You have to control your loins. I, wait a minute, but I can't say, but you're flashing. You, you know Am what? I flashing? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, what are titties? What are titties? Wait, 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 wait a minute. What are titties? Uh, do you would you say titties are a sexual tool to allure men? No, they're to feed children. Do you have kids? No. Why do I know about your titties? Why do I know you got big, giant, soggy tits? Why do I know that? What are you doing with those titties without kids? You can see that I'm not wearing fucking burka. 
That's why you know about them. That's really? So that, that, that you can stand up and say, I can do anything as a woman, but a guy goes, hey, baby, you know what? That anything you're doing is making my dick hard. Can I pull my dick out if I and jerk my dick? Can I dress my dick up? Can I come to work in a fucking <laughs> just a jock strap on so you can see how big my balls are, but I don't chested. show them? If I was flat chested and wearing this top, you wouldn't be saying anything. This is not even course a not. Nobody want to see your little but boy these chest. People, these people think that I'm wearing like some low cut shit and a halter top. She's I'm wearing, wearing I'm going to tell you what she's wearing. A lovely New York and Kennedy. Let me tell you something. You could be wearing <laughs> armor. If your titties God, were out, I'm nice. jerking off to the armor. If you had titty armor, you ever see um cartoons Zena. and the bitch would put Xena and the bitch have a pair of titties to go to? You're like, damn, that bitch got an awesome iron titty. <laughs> you want that shit. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, Big Daddy, go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, because you had a question. Uh, and one more thing, uh, Patrice. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I can walk through mud, but I can't fuck through blood, so I agree with you on that one. Thank you. But, uh. Delicious. <laughs> Thanks for calling, dude. That Big Daddy, keep listening, man. Thank you, Bye, sir. Big Daddy. Fucking, yeah. he don't want blood. God damn it. Um, so, what is the guy that eats p pussy on a period? Ooh. No, I don't want to even wrong. talk to this dirty <laughs> bastard. That's wrong. That's, that's wrong. My cousin. Oh, hey, Monique. Gotta go hey, get yeah, a girl. Yeah, There's a girl. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, we'll just let, we're gonna give it over to Monique and Carol for five seconds. Go ahead, lady. Oh, hi, Monique. <laughs> While we all go take shits Hello. and hi, play sweetheart. PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear these assholes? Pull my ball you hairs out with tweezers. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hold up. Oh, wait, wait Monique. God. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Stop the presses. Say that one more time, beautiful. <laughs> I'm on the men's side. Holy oh, shit. Dude. I'm just going to sit on back and uh, <laughs> let, 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 two, let two colleagues talk. Go ahead, sweetie. Go ahead, Kev. You had a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on the men's side because? Because women are emotional and men are analytical. Men will tell you what they want, but they're afraid to. And they know they're not going to get the truth from women because women want to never be pinned down because they want to change their mind all the time. Didn't I just say that? Wow. Thank, Wait, no, no, no. Don't you, leave. I'm not Let saying, I'm not saying I disagree with that. Like, and I'm not saying I'm, di I'm not disagreeing with them on that. What I'm saying is they're not validating our feelings. Like, if they know that we are this way, why are they bitching about it? Okay, here it is. Because we are emotional. Ready? And Ready? there's nothing wrong here with it. They're is. trying to make it seem like it's whoa, wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here it is. Men are bitching because they can never win with us. Exactly. Ever. Thank you. Oh, that's tricky, no, ho. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, Monique. Hold on. Monique. See, hold on. Thank you. Monique, hold on a second. Here's the thing. Here's what it is. It's it's women and men are have both have emo have emotions, but men have tapped into this thing called analytical uh, uh, thinking and and. Phil philosophical thinking logic and that's why we're up on you because you don't you like when i ask you a question or just like what santino said because men will say like my girl said can't you stop saying bitch can't you stop acting like you're a pimp and i all i have to do is go why? do you have another option for me bitch you have another way for me to think give me a plan b I got plan Z for you, motherfucker. <laughs> but why does that make you right and us wrong if we... Because you have no... God, you have no, We're both... You know what we're like? We're two weeble wobbles not falling down, but we're just going back and forth. Why does that have doing to be right nothing? and wrong? You're making it a wrong. Do you hear no. this? Karen, this double talk? Yes, go ahead, Monique. Your question, why can't you just answer him? Why do you always have to have either two answers or none? Monique, <laughs> I, Monique is my new girlfriend. Me and my girlfriend are gonna fuck Monique now. <laughs> no, no, I get called harsh mm -hmm. and too strong-willed because if somebody asks me a question, I'll answer it. I think and that's it's awesome. not usually what they want to hear. But we're also I not trained to truth. do that. We're not trained to do that. I tell the truth too. So is that right or but wrong? But I also try we're not to hurt. To. I also try not to hurt people's feelings, which I think is what we do is as well. We're trained right to do that because wrong. we are. Is it right or wrong, Kara? Not hurting someone's feeling is fine, but again, if you're not telling them the truth, it's a lie. But what if Why you haven't made up your mind? Your I just feel like throwing Why some small crackers in the middle <laughs> of the table. <laughs> and both of y'all just start eating. What? I <laughs> hear, I Wait a minute, exactly. Monique, Monique do, you, do you agree with her or do you disagree? And you want to do something. Why do you say, what do you want to do? Why don't you say, I want to go to the movies? 
you yeah, thank you. Movie, All right, fair enough. Why don't Why don't movie. women just go? I want to go to the movies instead of going. What are you doing tonight? Well, sometimes <laughs> I have the like. Sometimes I'm made. Thank to you for calling, mind. Monique. I almost want to leave her on just because she we're trying to disagrees give you with this asshole. But thanks for calling, sweetie. Oh, ooh, oh, hung damn. up on. Sorry, Monique. <laughs> Thank I'm sorry, you for baby. calling, Monique. Thank you, Buttercup. Um, we're gonna go with um somebody who disagrees. Anybody? Ooh, delicious. That's delicious. Wait, you know what we're going to do? We, gotta, we should go to a break. Yeah, man. We've been on a while. Shit, yo. We continue to celebrate the life of Patrice O'Neill. God damn. With more of his greatest moments on the Opie and Anthony show. Next.